time for Cigar Talk, the fastest growing cigar show in the nation. Whether you're a new cigar enthusiast or a cigar aficionado, we have something for everyone. Bringing you the best interviews, cigar reviews, and weekly giveaways. So grab yourself a cigar. It's time to light them up. Welcome back, Cigar Talk. I'm your host, Rob Jones. We got co-host in the studio today, Bryant Falconer. How you doing today? Hey, Brian? man, I'm doing good. Doing good, bro. Man, you have been on a <laughs> traveling. Yeah. What would you call it? Uh, just a. I mean, every week the last couple of weeks. Dude. I was on an odyssey. <laughs> yeah. How'd that go, man? Hey, it was good, man. This last one was all about training, leadership training. So it was it was perfect. Did you teach the class? Heck no, nah, man. <laughs> I had to be so, real about it. <laughs> but but then let's. Let's talk a minute what the bonus was. You got to go by and see your daughter. Man, that that was the greatest part of it. I left out of Austin, stopped in Copper's Cove. My baby was back from Kuwait, man. I grabbed her and hugged, and she's like, Daddy, I can't breathe. I was like, I don't care. I brought you in this world. I can take you out. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the great thing is she was in Kuwait for a while, and now she's going to Cuba. Yeah, Guantanamo Bay. the fact that you got to go by and see her is awesome yeah man it was it just made my heart feel better because you know that that was my first she was the one that changed my life because i was a knucklehead and when my ex-wife told me that she was pregnant everything had to stop some some people might say you're still a knucklehead. nah bruh nah bruh nah nah bruh uh-uh. uh, she changed it the next three came behind her they they flipped me all the way hey, 180 hey. I'm not saying you're as much as a knucklehead as you used to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take that. Man. I'll own up to that. Hey, so let's jump right on in. Yes, sir. Let's talk about what we're smoking. I'm going to let you definitely, go first. Most definitely. I'm smoking AJ Fernandez New World. Nice. Nice. That's Bro. a torpedo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what I got to ask you, though, is what do you got there you're smoking with? Hey, man, I got a new poker, bruh. What the hell? Is, I mean, it look, I see there's a San Francisco 49er yes, logo on this poker. Yes, yes, yes. So right off the bat, yes. I would never use it. I, I don't care. I will. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pub it up and so let everybody did, where, see it. Where did you get this poker? Uh, Blue, Smoke, Blue Smoke Atlanta. It's a lady that's in Atlanta. She makes smoke uh, pokers and picks. Oh, nice. Man, this thing is perfect, bro. She, she asked me what I, I wanted on there. I told her how I wanted it to look. Gave me exactly what I had in my mind, man. Awesome. Exactly what I had awesome. in my mind. Awesome. I, I, well, you know, I'm not a poker user. Yeah, I But understand. I know you are. Yes, sir. Because there are certain sticks and, when and you get to the end. Right. You, you want to burn it all mm-hmm. the way down. Yes, sir. I, I get yes, sir. that. But here's the thing. Go ahead. When I saw there was a 49er logo on it, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> you know she can do the Dallas Cowgirls, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I want to say, though, out of all the pokers that I've seen, Uh-huh. Dude, that one's this nice. Is, this is fire, man. That is This nice. is fire. She can do it any way you want it. What you want on there, you just let her know, and she will make it. For She will, if, as they say, fashion it for nice. you. I, nice. I, I am. I have nothing else to say. And, and if someone wants to go by and check out her pokers, how do you find it? On IG, it is Blue Smoke ATL, and it's all one, sm- one word, B-L-U-S-M-O-K-E-A-T-L. Oh, that's cool, man. And on Facebook, you can find her on the Blue Smoke Cigar pokers and picks oh cool yes sir hey so the cool thing about it is i'm not really a, one of those people who uses a poker yes sir but what i love about that tool is you can actually poke the cigar if it's got too tell tight the of a draw tell the truth and i mean it's, it's a tool and it's yeah, a tool, it's a tool. Yeah. and so i mean it's not just about style mm-hmm. it's but also you know, has all, functionality i know you're all, all about, about style, style oh come my on, gosh on, do i know <laughs> anyway so no what i like about that is if i go pick up a ten dollar stick and it has too tight of a draw take that run it through right you good because that pisses me off and then when you get to that last third and you want to keep going because it's so delicious Poke it on the side. Keep on smoking, hey, baby. Hey, dude, I will smoke it down till my thumb is on fire. <laughs> well, with this, you don't have to worry about your thumb being on fire. <laughs> well, that's cool, man. You know what? I Even though I'm not a 49er fan, I am a fan of that poker. Hey, it's really hey, nice hey, looking. Hey, she took care of me, man. Yeah, she took care of that's me. that's nice. It looks good. It looks good, and it's functional. What's her that's name? Nice. Oh, I stumped you. <laughs> Blue Smoke? Yeah. Is that what you're going to say? Blue Smoke Atlanta? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's that's fair enough. Anyway, hats off to you, Blue Smoke, because that's a really nice looking tool. The less you know, sometimes the better. <laughs> right. <laughs> so anyway, I'm smoking a San 
Latano from AJ Fernandez, which is the Enclave. Wow. And let me tell you, man, I have been all over this stick this week, and it really surprised me. I haven't had, I've had lots of AJ Fernandez cigars before, and I've always been happy with them. Me too. But this cigar takes it to a new level for me. Hey, and when you get down to the end, you can use my poke. <laughs> use my pick. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You know what? Hey, the San Fran part about it, you can, right. just, you can just let it go. I'm not going to do it. No. Yeah, well, 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 hey, that, remember, you remember what George Bush W said? Yeah, what's that George Bush W? <laughs> George W. Bush. Yeah, so everybody knows, not only am I smoking an Enclave, yeah. I'm also drinking the Russell's Reserve yeah. Single Barrel 120 Proof. So y'all have to forgive me for last week forgetting everything because I was smoking at four I'm drinking at four right. roses man I was like he was like wait a minute you can't even remember I was like dude, I couldn't even dude, argue with dude, you dude, I listened to that and I, I couldn't laugh I could not argue with you when I was, I was doing like, the editing you were like uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I need your phone number it's at 1859 I was like dude you don't know what you're talking about Anyway, bruh, bruh. I think you got it down this week. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we'll get to that a little yes, bit later sir. in the show. Yes, sir. I haven't had enough yet. But <laughs> anyway, I'm drinking the Russell's Reserve yes, Single sir. Barrel 120 Proof. And hey. let me tell you, if you haven't tried it, put it on your <sighs> list. It's 120 proof, but it is smooth. smooth. And then it'll get you with that bite, baby. You, oh. you know you got you something know, good, it's, man. It, it is, it is, it'll warm you up. Oh, most definitely. That 120 proof. Bro, let me ask you a question. Lay it on me. What was the temperature this morning? I don't know. It, it, it blew my mind because I was coming out of uh, Copper's Cove. I want to say it was probably like about 40. No, I came out of Copper's Cove. It was 32. Oh, By the okay. time I made it here, it was 38. Then it got up to 73. Yeah, because by the time I got out, I went and did some work today yeah you did yeah i went out and did some work <laughs> and i had to go do some testing uh -huh. and when i went out it was 42 degrees man. so i didn't know what it was at daybreak dude this texas man that's all i can say right if you want all four seasons in one day come you to know texas, you man. know the thing about it is What's tomorrow that? me and my wife are going hiking again okay back where we saw the I mountain lion. story for you <laughs> well, i got a story for you hey you know what i'm i already said what i'm smoking what i'm drinking lay it on me what do you got i was coming out of conference cove today and uh it's a town uh called lameda 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 L O M E. lameda lameda yeah and as i was coming up uh that's that's 183. Mm -hmm. I looked. I said, "Man, that's a big dog." And as I got closer, I saw it over in the in the brush, and I saw the tail. I said, "That's a damn mountain lion." I'm like, dude, "Oh dude, dude, man, they, they are everywhere." everywhere. I, I I immediately said, "I ain't pissing on the highway no more." <laughs> <laughs> Done. Dude, I'll hold it till I get you, to the gas station. I'm telling you, if you didn't hear last week's show, me Ooh. and my wife went on a hike, and we saw two mountain lions within five minutes, mm. and so. I mean, and the thing about it is, you know, Dwayne yeah. at the shop, he yeah. posted an article of a guy that killed a mountain lion up at uh, Fort Phantom. Yeah, Lake. I saw that. Dude, that mountain lion was, was huge. Huge. Dude. I just, I, now, see, you. if I would have ran up on that mountain lion, I probably would have been like, let's go. <laughs> Running in your, in your chocolates. I, I, I would <laughs> estimate that cat was probably 180 pounds. Man, maybe 200. Yeah, yeah. That, was that was a, a big, big cat. cat. That was. That was no one a day. I don't know how much it weighed, but it was big. And I was like, that's a mountain lion. Yeah. And I immediately got scared, but I'm driving. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny because when you see them, <sighs> you don't identify it because you don't normally think in your no. mind of a mountain lion. In Texas. But then when you see that tail. I was like, damn. It ain't, it ain't like any other tail. No, it's no, a big, thick no. tail. Yes. And it's not like yes. furry, fluffy. It looks like just a. An anaconda. Thank you. It looked like <laughs> if he hit you with the tail, you're done. Right. He, you ain't even got to worry about the paw. He oh. just swept you with the tail. You done. That got me today. I was like, you know, I'm done. Well, I told I'm my done. wife, I said, you know what? Last week, it didn't bother me seeing the mountain lions. I was actually more interested than I was scared. <sighs> so, but that being said, tomorrow when we go hiking, I will be carrying the old... <laughs> Pistola, <laughs> and when I say pistola, you go, the I'm big talking one. about the Colt yeah. 45. I said the big one. You know what I'm saying? You Something's know. gonna drop him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You're yeah. not gonna play with him and make him mad. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Colt 45, <laughs> run out there with a 22. He's gonna 70, look at you like what? Hey, a 70 series yes. Colt 45 yes. government yes. issue. Yes, dude, you gonna drop the thunder? Boom. On. Yeah, drop but the thunder. I, on. I, I, you know what? And I would not. I, I love the animals, yeah, okay. and I'm not like wanting to kill it. Nah. 
I, I you got to protect yourself, but you I'm going to protect my, even my and wife, your, especially your wife. Yeah, yeah, I got you with that one. So, and, you know, speaking of my wife, I have a funny little story here. Where I got to jump right in. Okay. So my wife bought a half of a lemon cake. You know, at the grocery store, they oh yeah, I got you now. Because I was gonna say, where you get a half a lemon? No, cake? No, at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it was lemon cake and it had icing on top, and so whenever we ate it. It's like, I ate a piece, she ate a piece, I ate a piece, she ate a piece, I ate a piece. <laughs> what was funny is we got up for breakfast one morning, and it was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to have coffee and cake. Uh-huh. And there was like a large piece of cake left. You took the hunk? No. Oh. No. I cut it to where there was a small sliver <laughs> of cake left. And I thought it would be so funny Dude. for her to walk in for breakfast and see that little and, sliver yeah yeah but here's what's funny though what was that so i was coming out to the shed to get working uh-huh. and she said hey before you go out would you mind grabbing me that piece of cake <laughs> and i was like absolutely babe <laughs> so i get this tiny tiny little piece of cake i put it on a plate and i put a fork on it <laughs> and i walk in there and i'm like here you go honey and she's like what the fuck <laughs> Dude, it was so freaking funny. I busted out laughing right there. I can see her face, man. I can see her face looking at you like, what the? She she was like, why would you leave that much cake? And I was like, because it would be funny. That's why. (laughs) Oh, man. So anyway, guys, hey, let's talk about what we got coming up on the show. We've got a review on a new cigar product. Most definitely. I'm super stoked about that. And then we've got a mystery caller guest. Uh Uh-oh. We don't have our regular guests this week. Okay. You don't even know who the guest is. No, I don't. And it's a surprise. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you because it's like intertwined with who you are. Okay. Yeah, you don't even know, do you? Now you're curious. Who in the hell would we be having on the show that has something to say to you? Yeah. And just so you don't think it's Cigar Pulp, but it's not. <laughs> I know. It's yeah, probably- I can't wait till tomorrow. You're right. <sighs> So anyway, hey, well, let's talk about McAuliffe right quick. Hey, why Dude, not? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Talk to me. I was at the cigar shop this week, uh-huh. and a guy came in that hadn't smoked a McAuliffe before. And I got to give him a pass because he hadn't really been smoking that long. Uh-huh. But he was smoking like some Perdomos. Okay. So that tells me that he is up to speed mm-hmm. on a medium to plus cigar. Yeah. And I turned him on to a McAuliffe medallion. Dude, wow. laid him out. I was just going to say, what Dude, did he say? We sat there and drank coffee together uh-huh. and smoked. And I was smoking a medallion myself. And he was blown away. That's what this is about, man. He was, you know what? He was used to having a medium to plus profile. Yeah. But he wasn't used to that complex flavor profile. Hitting your palate, baby. Hitting your palate. Even though. You know, and, and I would say most people consider the Medallia a medium, medium plus. Uh-huh. I consider it just a straight up medium. Medium, yeah. But the roller coaster ride that that, that stick mm-hmm. gives you is just amazing. Yep. So, and I have lots of people asking me about the Medallia and where they can get it. If you don't know where to get it and you can't find it, you send me an email. I will hook hey, you tell up. Tell the truth. Tell I will hook truth. you up. Tell the truth. So anyway, uh, hats off to McAuliffe because, in fact, we've got a special segment coming up yes. next week. They just released their business plan mission, so to speak, release this week. And next week, we're going to spend a little time and go over mm-hmm. each part of it. Yeah. And I'm going to try to get a hold of either Dan or Amanda okay. so that um, if we have any questions, we can yeah, ask them exactly the, uh, what that means. Got gotcha. you. But I read over it, and I'm super impressed. And we talk about McAuliffe all the time. The level of transparency is amazing. It's amazing, man. I mean, no other company that I know of has that level of transparency with their consumers. They fight for their consumers. With the price uh, inflations, they kept certain ones at the same price because they look out for us. It's still 4 to 42. No matter what you get, you're going to get a taste ride. You're going to get that roller coaster. Your palate is going to be enjoyed. George Richard Hale is going to be like, oh, my God, what is that? But that's what they produce. Well, and, you know, we talked about the price increase last Mm -hmm. week. And here's the thing. 
like they raise their prices five percent on some. So what I think, yeah, not the whole line because yeah. you still have the four to forty. Yes, correct. You still have all the amazing blends. Yes, sir. So they have something for everyone. But here's my point that I want to make on that five percent. So let's say your typical retail. If you increase the price by 5%, it, when it gets to the consumer, it's going to be 10%. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way business is done. Because that's the way it has to go. <clears throat> right. So here's my thing, though. <clears throat> I don't know if you remember this, but about four months ago, Altatus raised yes, their Steve. prices yeah. 15%. Percent. Mm -hmm. So to a retail consumer, that's 30%. Yes. I noticed that. I did, too. And that's why I stepped back away from a couple yeah, of their sticks. exactly. And I went to a couple of other favorites. One of them was a McAuliffe because I was like, nah, I'm not doing that, man. I'm yeah, not. exactly. And here's the thing. Like, if you raise the price 5% on your end and on the retail side, it's 10%. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm not going to notice. Nope. You know what? But I mean, 15 or especially more. Especially, I'm getting a quality stick. Oh, yeah. But a $9 stick is still going to be under $10, $10, even with a 10% increase. Tell the truth. But when you raise it 30%, you're going too far for me. Now you're raising it three bucks. Mm -hmm. You know and, what I'm saying? And I, can't and I mean, do it. it's like, dude, now you're talking about a $9 cigar costing $11. Can't do it. And then you're going to throw on the sales tax. Now I'm paying $12 for a stick I used to pay $9, $9 for. $9, yeah. So I completely applaud McCalla oh, yeah. for being transparent and telling the consumers what they do. Because it comes down to you take care of your consumers, you'll be in business forever. Absolutely. So I can't wait to get into their business plan announcement yeah. next week with yeah. you because I don't. You haven't read it yet, have you? No, I haven't. So there's a lot of great information, and I love the way they're gonna take the company. Gotcha. As we said before, they have really encouraged the ambassadors and consumers to pay attention to what they're doing because we're all taking this journey together. All together. The <laughs> landscape of the cigar industry is changing. And they are one of the very, very few companies that I see that encourage you to come along with the mm -hmm. ride and actually be a part of the changes. Yeah, because they're letting you know every change that comes around. They're letting you know what they're doing. They're being transparent with everything. And it's a walk that we're making together. Right. It's not them taking those steps ahead of us and then looking back like, why aren't you following me? Well, you don't let me know. The prices have jumped. These things have changed. And I'm in a point now where I don't understand what's going on. Absolutely. So now with them, that's what... We talk about them a lot, but it's a reason why. They take care of their consumers. They do. They produce a quality product, and they look out for the consumers. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. That's it. That's bro. all I need to That's know. It. And they have a great team. They have a great owner, Al McAuliffe. I couldn't sh have any more respect for an individual than what I do for Al McAuliffe. Tell the truth. I mean, if you have the honor to ever meet up with him in Fort Worth and sit down and have a cigar— when I say class act guy, that's the definition of class act. <laughs> just, just, don't, just don't be like Rob when you go to dinner. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Well, speaking of that, speak, hey, speaking of that, hey, before we get off on another subject, yes, thank sir. you, McAuliffe. We appreciate thank you. your sponsorship. Thank you. Everything thank you, you. you do for us. Thank you. And we appreciate the tr level of transparency that you guys yes, have sir. and the quality product yes sir so thank you anyway i <laughs> wanted to say don't start laughing yet so <laughs> you know here's the thing all these different podcasts have like different stickers and things yes and we have one yes and we're fixing to order a buttload yeah so that we can start sending them out to you guys but here's the thing my wife came up with a great idea okay instead of just doing a cigar talk sticker uh -huh. she said Here's a sticker you should do, and I want feedback. So if you guys are listening to the show, I want you to send me back information and let me know if you think this is a great idea. I thought it was great. Okay. She said you should have a sticker made that says, what's Bryant's number? <laughs> <laughs> so if you think that is something that you would like to have i think that we would do Let me that tell you, so, man. you oh, love my wife yes, i know I, no i'm talking yeah i love that but i'm saying <laughs> into something else this is dealing with mike <laughs> every time someone new becomes a member of the uh mcauliffe ambassador right on facebook i look to see if he's quoted first 
Oh, really? If he hasn't quoted first, I'm going to quote and put my number down. Nice. <laughs> if he has, I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. So, because, you know, everybody has a sticker of the name of their show, but yeah. she said, you know, that would be great just <laughs> to would. do a fun filled that sticker. Would, man. <laughs> so, I think we're going to order new Cigar Talk stickers, but we're also going to we're gonna order the What's Bryant's Number I'm sticker. I'm going to put that on my truck. I know bro. you will. <laughs> I'm going to put that on my truck. So, anyway. Hey, well, we're kind of messing around here. Let's yeah. get to the pick six. You want to go first? You want me to? Okay, I'll go first this week. You know what? I'm going to tell you straight up. This week has been a great week for me, and let me tell you why. First of all, I haven't been sick this week, and any time that you've been sick, when you're no longer sick, it's a good week. Bro, I thought you had that coronavirus. No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I, ain't, I don't, I don't, I'm not going over there to I, take. I, I, don't, I don't drink Mexican beer. <laughs> That's an old joke. It's not know, very, it's not very funny anyway. Anyway, no, I, I feel so much better, and that's been great. But the current position I'm in with my current job, yeah, we got our bonus this week. Uh. So <laughs> I treated myself. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know bro. what I mean? Ain't nothing you know, wrong you with You don't that. always get to treat yourself to some really good mm-hmm. sticks. Mm-hmm. And so I treated myself. So my top three is... A little bit above average where I usually sell. Gotcha, gotcha. So this week, my first is the AJ Enclave. Okay. Let me tell you what. I've never smoked this stick before, and it has been lights out for me. Gotcha. I have been super, super excited about this stick. And then the number two stick, that was my number three cigar. Mm -hmm. Number two was the Padron 1964 Maduro. (laughs) Okay, you did step up. I did. You did. You know what? In fact, Ed came up to the shop and it was like noon. And he was like, dude, you're smoking one of those at noon. Yeah. And I was like, dude, <laughs> I, you know what? I Whenever I want to smoke, that's yeah, when I want to smoke. Yeah. It don't matter what time it is. Yeah, I got you. And then for my number one this week, okay, I went all the way up and really treated myself. I smoked the McAuliffe Reserva. Big money. <laughs> Big money. Sometimes. As you say, dollar hey, bill, hey, dollar bill. <laughs> sometimes you smoke the four. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you, you smoke, smoke the 42. 42. Gotcha. Gotcha. And let Big me tell you money. what. I was not disappointed hey, at I, all. I've had one. No, it I've had was, more than one. Oh, it was a good smoke. It is, smoke. man. It is. It is. So anyway, uh, that's my top three of the week. What do you have? My uh, number one was a Tatawe Monster Series. You mean Tatawahi? Tatawahi. Tatawahi Monster Series. Monster Series. Now, yeah. was that the uh, Lancero? Mm-mm. Oh, I thought the Monster Series was the, all the Lanceros. Mm, no. Okay. Refresh my memory. What was that? I don't, I don't recall. No, it was a Corona. Really? Dude. Where did you get that at? A gift. Oh, shit. Here we a go gift. with the gift. People take care of me. Here's man. what I say. You know what? I decided right. that I wasn't going to take any gifts this week. <laughs> Why? Because I was going to say I was getting gifts. That's right. That's right. I wanted to let you have your sunshine. Ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. I thank you Ain't for no that. Ain't no sunshine till you're gone. No. Is that how that goes? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Ain't we no leave, sunshine when you're gone. We're going to leave all that alone. <laughs> all of it. All right, man. Go but ahead. number two is the 601 La Bamba. This time, the oh, napalm. Nice. I've never had that. Dude, that thing hits you straight off the, the first draw. Really? The first draw. you like, what the hell is this? Well, you this? know what's funny that you say that? Because the entire Espinosa line mm. is like what I consider full body. Mm. But then you get into the 601, <sighs> and they're like the full body plus, plus a, a kick, kick in your in ass. ass. Yeah, because last <laughs> week I smoked the Flashbang, and it was, it, was, it was strong. It hit. But this napalm, yeah. bruh, first, first drop. Right Whoa. out the gate. I'm like, hold up. And it was all three thirds really all the way through i i'm gonna have to try one of those because you know as we've said before the espinosas have been kicking oh, ass yes oh yes and i've met a lot of people over the last couple of weeks that have just started uh-huh. trying espinosas and i've had nothing but great hey, feedback it, it's a bad stick man if you if you feel that you want that 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 bold that taste that hit Step up to the 601 series. Yeah. 601 series. My third one, you're going to love this one. 
What is it, Fat Bottom Betty? Monte Cristo Platinum Boo. Series. Corona. Boo. <laughs> hey, you know what? I understand you got to go back to your roots. Yeah. So That was a great taste profile, too, bro. I was really? Like, yeah, it's the earthy notes, man. That nut. Oh, bro. I've I was never like, had a Monte like, Cristo bad. that uh, had more than one flavor. Uh, well, you never went to the Platinum Series. See, you started you know Monte Cristo. You're like, I'm done. I hate it. You're right. probably right. I've mm-hmm. never had the Platinum Series. Yeah. But he, he, what's the price point on the Platinum Series? That one was uh, seven dollars. Really? Yep. I didn't think they had any sticks under twenty. Yeah, they got some under twenty. They got a lot under twenty. But huh. I got that one in Austin. Okay. Yeah. So speaking of Austin, while you were down there, did you get to go to some shops? I sent a guy to a shop. Wow. Because <laughs> uh, he smokes too. He's one of the guys that when we go to Austin, we smoke together. We used to be three of us. One retired, so it was just us two now, and he said he was going to get a stick, and I asked him to grab that one for me. And I gave him the money for it, and he came back. He said, it was just $7. I was like, for real? Where's my change? Because <laughs> I gave him a $20 bill. I thought you were going to say you gave him 100 <laughs> No, I gave him a $20. I, would, <laughs> I know how you're a player. <laughs> no, sir. You're a boss. No, sir. No, sir. I Are you saying you're just a poor man like me? I work for the state. Okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. All right, man. So, hey, it's time for our mystery caller. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to dial him up, get him on the phone. Bryant doesn't even know who this guy is, but I can tell you they definitely have something to talk about. So don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the Mystery Caller Guest. We have a guy from another cigar shop that does another cigar podcast, and he is 150% a Kansas City Chief fan. Oh, here we go. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be all right, man. It's what's up, right. Viking? <laughs> what, what's up, man? How y'all doing tonight? Hey, man, we're doing fantastic. How you been, brother? Man, I honestly this week I've been nervous. You've been, been nervous back and forth, man. I I haven't been here. I don't know how to act. All my customers are just like, man, you're on edge. Like, yep. <laughs> this is, this is brand new to me, man. <laughs> hey, all I can tell you, brother, is you got the captain on the wheel of the ship mahomes is at the helm here we go man i am well you know mahomes went to texas tech which is my hometown school so you know i'm all over kc oh yeah yeah i know i know i know he's i know you like when we first got him i know you had some good things to say I, i wasn't really uh I didn't know anything really about him other than, you know, with me being a Jayhawk fan, I played against him every once in a while. Um, but just seeing his, you know, growth of what he's done to a team that I've loved, you know, since I was before I was born and just taking that team that was just horrible and down to the dumps, you know, there's a few good years, but seeing what he's done, man, he's had, he has KC lit on fire. And oh, it's so cool oh yeah. Well, you know, the thing about it is most people probably don't know this, so I'm going to let you in on a secret. I have Wait some up. I have some information about Pat Mahomes that you probably are not aware of. <laughs> oh, got the in, inside scoop. Yes, I do. Because he went to Texas Tech, and I'm from Lubbock, I have some firsthand personal <laughs> knowledge. Here we go. Here's the thing. Most people don't know this, but on the weekends when he's not doing football, he's actually Spider-Man. <laughs> I, I believe it. So, I believe it. You know, so, I think dude, crime is going down in KC. You know, exactly. Rob, He's doing everything. Rob, you are a hater. <laughs> you are just a hater, man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you some one more thing. In case you didn't know, Viking, <laughs> here's the thing. You know what's what's that guy's name? That's the quarterback of the 49ers Garoppolo. Garoppolo. That's right. He on the weekends is the Joker. And Dak, <laughs> and Dak is the Riddler. <laughs> That's probably true. So, hey, so let's give some uh, shout out to Viking and yes, his podcast. Yes, yes. If you guys haven't checked out the Straight Cut, it's a cigar show that, that comes out every week. 
and you don't want to miss it. So make sure you go by and check out the Straight Cut Cigar Talk Show by Viking. And I, I apologize. I forget your co-host name. What's your new guy's name? Uh, his name is Mark. Yeah. So we're, okay. uh, you know, we come out every Friday morning, uh, eight o'clock central time. Um, what I tell everybody is we talk about your show a lot because we're avid listeners of your show. Um, you know, you. your show is great for that cigar market where you get those kick-ass interviews. You get, you know, you get down deep into it. Our show, we say it's like, uh, you know, 40% cigar, 60% BS. You know, we're <laughs> that good middle part between if you want that good consumer aspect, you got your show. If you want that show where it sounds like it's just being recorded in, in the middle of a shop, you know, that's that's what our show is. It helps hey, me. Is, you know, well, let me tell you this. I love y'all show. Yeah. I love what yeah. you do. It's completely different from our yes. show. Yeah. And here's yeah. the thing. Doing our show, I don't want to listen to our show. Yes. I want to listen to your show. <laughs> so that being said, though, here's the thing, guys. You guys listen to our show every week, and we really appreciate it. But here's the thing. We come out on Monday, so you have the whole week, week to listen to the show. And then by the time you've listened to our show, now it's Friday. Now you yep. have another yes, cigar show yes. you can listen to. A good yep. cigar yep. show on top of that. So make sure you go by and check out the Straight Cut. I'm a big fan, and I'm a big fan of Viking. He's done a hell of a job. And he also works at a badass cigar lounge. So if you are ever in the Little Rock area, go buy West End Cigars. Those dudes light it up. Yeah. I've had several friends that have stopped by that shop or have been there before I even knew Viking. And they all say the same thing. Great shop. And that's all you need to know. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. You know, what, what I like about with our show is we come from a tobacconist standpoint. You know, I've, I've worked in this shop for four years. Uh, Mark, my co-host, he used to own a shop uh, outside of Chicago. So he's been around the cigar world his whole life, pretty much, or adult life anyways. Um, but yeah, we're, we're really enjoying it. And, uh, you know, thanks for the love given, uh, you know, talking about our home shop. You know, I, I take a lot of pride in West End. Um, you know, I don't have any money equity in it but i i have sweat equity and i yeah. i have a, i take a big pride with it and it's cool because we actually just lost one of our regulars and members that is actually moving to your yeah room. man and i'm excited first thing about I, said, I was like man i gotta hook you up with rob and you know y'all are gonna bring him in with open <laughs> oh, wings and it's, absolutely and that's so cool. yeah. absolutely man in fact i haven't even seen brian because he's been out of town all week but they have a regular member at their shop that's coming to abilene that's perfect he's gonna man. be stationed at dias air force ah. base so I was like, dude, you let him know yes. my number. When yes. he gets here, we're going to take him down and do the tour. Most definitely. Meet everybody. Yes. Yeah. And that, because that's what the secure community is, is all about. Yes. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So, I mean, dude, I think it's awesome that you reached out to me and told him that he's coming to our shop. And I think that that's how people should do it. Anytime that they're losing a cigar shop member that goes somewhere else, mm -hmm. reach out to that other yep. shop yes, and say, hey, man, yes. I got a guy coming down. Because yes. that's, oh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. the community. I will have to warn them, though, that it sounds like there's a 49ers fan down there. Most so. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give them a heads up. But, you know, the thing about it is the great – well, I should say the great thing about it is there's only one 49er fan at that's the shop. That's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> I am the shop. <laughs> I walk yeah. in, people talk about it. They love it. They they accept it. They know that if you talk about my 49ers, I don't care who you are, we're going to have a conversation. Yeah, you're definitely going to have a conversation. conversation. <laughs> well, it, well, if history repeats itself, I can't wait to have Garoppolo as my quarterback in 10 years. <laughs> hey, see, that's what I was, I was telling Rob about that. It was a couple of shows ago because they took Montana from us. They got Gerbach. They got Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tried to get Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see now you have your own quarterback. Oh yeah, you're not yeah, taking yeah. you're not taking oh, leftovers yeah. from the 49ers. Hey, but that that Ooh, first what, what I love is li living living down here and you know, the Chiefs being so hot for the past couple of years. You know, I'm always wearing my Chiefs hat. I'm always in something. And everybody's like, oh, man, how long have you been a fan? And be like, I am not a bandwagoner. I've been through the Steve DeBerg days. I've been through the, yes. through the Green days, yes. through the Dilfer days, through everything. I've been through them all. Now, you're, you're, yeah. you're, now tell me how old you are, Viking. 35. 35. So were you, were you a KC fan back in the Nigerian nightmare days? Ooh. Oh, man, Christian Okoye. Oh, Ooh. yeah. The, the, the house rule was yes. when you played Tecmo Bowl, you could not pick the Chiefs. Because if you did, you were winning no matter what. Right. See, it was also the Chiefs and the Raiders because you couldn't get both. 
Yep, you, you, couldn't have, you couldn't have both. You couldn't have yep. both, and you couldn't have a Koyak. Those teams were off limits. Off the limits. Raiders yeah. and the Kansas off City limits. Chiefs. And I'll tell you what, I don't know if you remember this in Tecmo Bowl Viking, but we had a rule on if you won a game, you had to switch teams to the yeah, next okay. game. So yep. everybody would always try to be the Cleveland Browns for so Kevin can- Mack. <laughs> <laughs> They had nothing else from the whole yeah, team but yeah, Kevin Mack. Yeah, yeah. Man, you're talking about you're talking about history repeating stuff. The Browns. Ugh. Oh, we have, we, have, we have a couple of Browns fans up here. So uh, what what I'm looking forward to is you know the Madden curse can be broke tomorrow. Amen, you know, brother. On the cover, I'm I'm ready to break that curse. You know he. I want to say no. he's already had it since he dislocated his knee and he came back because he's you know he's Showtime, Showtime Mahomes, Superman. <laughs> See Superman. See, I thought he was Spider Man, but I'll go hey, with Superman. He, 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 I'm, I'm going just because he's like, uh, you know, he's just that strong, and that willing, and he's going to hold that team to hold that trophy. Honestly, what I'm more like happy about was last uh, two weeks ago. I was actually in San Francisco watching uh, the Chiefs play the Titans, and I got all emotional because we finally got to hoist that trophy. Yeah, the, the Lamar the Hunt. Yeah. On it that we've never ever done before. Yeah. So, for me, you know, if we win tomorrow, um, you know, that's just icing on the cake. Um, but just having that that Lamar Hunt trophy, that means the world to me right oh, there. Oh, absolutely, man. And the thing about it is, I mean, to get to that position yeah. is an accomplishment from where you guys have been. And, I mean, because I'm telling you right now, if the, if the Cowboys <laughs> were in the position the Kansas City Chiefs are in, I would be done. I would be yeah. done. Super Bowl, that's icing on the cake. But See, just I gotta I have to work at the lounge tomorrow too. So I told like the second we won, I was like, All right, I'm working up until the game. Somebody's relieving me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. Very nice. So what what what's your prediction for the oh wait, wait, wait let's back up a minute. Since you know, Bryant is red and gold through and through. Yes, sir. And you are red and white through and through. See, there's a difference. Hold up. Okay, it, go it, ahead. It's wine and gold. Wine and gold. Yeah, wine and gold. Yeah, so I'm, I'm red and yellow. Yeah. So you're going to be whining. Never. At the end of the game. Never. Is that what you're saying? Never. So look, look, I'm, I'm thinking that between the two, there's got to be some kind of wager here. I got enough wagers going on. Oh, no way. Yeah, I got enough yeah, wagers going on. Your wagers are bullshit. I've got enough wagers going on. Here's why I say on. that. Here, here's, I've got enough here's, wagers here's going on. Here's one of the wagers he has with the cigar pulpit. I don't know if you know those guys, but they have wagered the loser has to smoke like a black and mild or a no, 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 hold backwoods. Up. Hold up. This is what happened. They can't, he uh they positioned to me first. If the 49ers lose, I have to smoke a black and mild. Do you accept? So I had to think. And I was like, what's worse than a black and mild? And I was like, okay, it's two of them. One got to smoke a, 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 correction, I have to smoke a backwoods. Okay. I said, what's worse than the backwoods? One got to smoke a black and mild. And the other has to smoke the worst cigar I've ever heard of. Which is what? You know what it is. Oh, is it Trader's Jack? No, I wish it was. I didn't, I couldn't think of Trader's Jack at oh. the time. <laughs> but then, his partner was like, "Ah, oh, no, I'm not on that. I'm not on that." So it's just between me and uh, Oh, really? Yeah. Just you and Nick? Yeah. Oh, interesting. So, but see, that's for the loser bracket. Yeah. yeah. I think you and Viking should do a winners bracket. Oh, that okay. would be good. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that the would be good. The winner gets a badass stick, yeah. not some shitty stick. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see him smoke a black and mild. <laughs> that's all I want to see, because that Philly was the other one. Uh, see, that's why I said I had to think of something that was just like this. Well, see, I think y'all should do a friendly wager that's like a good stick. It's too late. Man. It's not too late. Yeah, the game is. is tomorrow. It's tomorrow. I got business before the game. Sounds like someone's worried they might lose. What no. do you think, Viking? No. Man, it, it sounds like he's running a little scared. No. I mean, I, I mean, have to it? I have to deal with the Lord first. But if you And if when you, I'm with the Lord, nobody gets in the way. If you <laughs> are confident, oh, confident that your team is gonna win. I'm confident. Then I would not hold back on what cigar I want to put the wager for. I don't have I mean, a, I would be like a nineteen twenty six eightieth anniversary, anniversary edition. Yes, That's what yeah, I would I've already, I've already sent y'all two of those uh the, the drone nineties, you know. And so you, I'm, I'm you know I'm good on my side. I know I know you're good for it. That's why I had you on the show. If if you would have welched on his bed, I wouldn't have you on the show. So 
No, I. Okay, okay. So here's what we do in our in our house rules. Uh, let's do this. Our house rules is if your team loses, you have to then smoke a Kristoff pissed off. Oh, I love it. Go, it's a good but stick. I hate, but I hate smoking that cigar because that means you got screwed. Right, so that right. is one cigar that I don't want to smoke. <laughs> let's do this. The loser has to smoke that cigar and post it so it's out there forever. Now, see, that's a, I got you. That's a wager I got you. that he I'm can live that. with. I'm on that, then. I'm on that. I can appreciate that. I'm on that. <laughs> I I like it, man. That's a that's a good wager. If you lose, you're smoking a pissed off Kristoff. And, and just to show you that I'm such a nice guy, uh, when you lose and you have to smoke that, not I'm happening. Send it out of my shop. Oh. Not, not <laughs> happening. <laughs> and we have an internet sh- shake on that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's extending his right hand, shaking it in the air. That's that's oh, his shake okay. on it, brother. Hey, okay. so how's everything been going since you guys moved, man? Man, it's been going good. Uh, we actually didn't move. We actually uh, started a second location. Um, oh, so been, that's, yeah, that's real. So good. it's been you know business is booming. It's it's going really well. We're we moved about uh, about twenty miles north into a, a city called Conway. Okay. Um, Do you work there really, also? I worked there. I've worked there a few times. Uh, Little Rock is still my home base. I'm here, you know, on on all my shifts when I'm here. Okay. Uh, Conway, it's a it's a totally different vibe. It's nice because we're getting into, we're seeing growth of you know cigar people up in that community, which is about eighty thousand strong, give or okay. take. Um, and we're just creating a whole new culture and atmosphere up there. So there's you know, a lot of education going on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing that, you know, I'm I'm giving them uh, links to you know the, my show, your show, you know how to get up, you know, cigar smokers one on one, yeah, um, stuff like that. We're getting uh, tons of new clientele, people up there, and they're just really, you know, at the end of it, you know, I can I can only go so far as a tobacconist, you know, but it's the other people in the lounge, yes. other people who are in this community that are embracing absolutely you know, everybody as one, and that's and that's what I love seeing the most you know as a tobacconist you know it's my job to know the product to sell the product but whenever you're told the same thing by a consumer that's not paid to say that right i mean that just goes above and beyond and you know the funny thing you say that is i've talked several times before about if i was to open a cigar shop and i'm not (laughs) but the people that i would hire are my regulars who enjoy the cigar community so much that they're helpful to the customers yes yeah yeah, no, I, I love that because it's one of those things where, you know, having a brick and mortar shop, you know, having a show, having a brick, working in b and M, you know, everybody knows that you can get this stuff online for a little bit cheaper. You know, it's my job to to make it known that you're not coming in here for that reason. You're coming in here for the experience, the, family, yes. fellowship, the experience, everything that involves around, you know, the brothers and the sisters of the leaf. That is why you're coming into a shop. Well, and that's, you know, what, and that's what I pride myself in. I had this discussion with our local owner the other day, and I, I'll be the first one to say that I think there is a place for the online cigar sales because there are people who live an hour yep. away from yeah, the shop yeah. and you can't expect those people to always be buying cigars at a shop and then there's also cigars that your local shop doesn't sell because mm-hmm. their humidor's full and you know that the biggest deal in a cigar shop is the real estate in your humidor is, oh, yeah. is always going to be packed. Yeah. And so you can't always bring in every stick that people want to smoke. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, we, we have a thousand facings now. If we had every cigar that everybody has wanted in the shop, you know, we would have 5,000 facings. Right, yeah. and that's yeah. just like, not possible. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, living in Arkansas, you know, living in Texas too, there's a lot of just nothing in between stuff. Um, so that's why I like, you know, if I'm buying cigars online, I like buying stuff from. Uh, there's a shop in Arizona. I like buying uh, Viaje from because I'm a huge Viaje fan, and they have every Viaje that's pretty much ever been made. You know, going to these brick and mortar shops that have online capability and buying from them, I love doing that because you're supporting another local business. And absolutely, that's absolutely. Business. Every every job I've ever had, every job I do now, it's all mom and pop shop. That's what I'm going to be pretty much for my whole life because that's just what's ingrained in me. So I love doing as much as I can in this community where, um, you know, Honestly, a lot of people still consider it taboo. They don't want to do it. I mean, you're seeing everything that's going on right now. So as long as I can do my job properly and educate, that's the main thing is education and just 
giving, you know, back to the consumers of how much we, you know, adore them, you know, they're going to be coming back all the time. Yeah. And I got to say right off the bat that if you are ever in the Little Rock area, yes. go by the West End because everyone that I've sent by there has like hit me up later and been like, dude, that was a good shop. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. We know we've actually had, we actually have a regular up here that you know of, uh, Leanne, you know, and she's become a great regular up here that everybody loves her. <laughs> Dude, now, now you know, I, I only know her from Instagram and her posts oh, are man. so freaking funny to me. <laughs> so I got to ask you, is her in real life personality match those crazy posts that she posted are so dark and funny? Oh, if it, it's probably magnified. Really? <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it is nuts. Yeah, she cracks me up. She's a she's a she's a great part of the cigar community, and that's what I love yeah. about the cigar community in general. Is that there's just so many personalities, and that we all mesh together. And so, uh, hats off to her. I think it's awesome. You know, she was going to another cigar shop, and I was like, "Oh, you got to go by the West End. <laughs> that's the shop you need to go to." And now she tells me that's 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 her main shop. Oh yeah, that's it, it. That's it's home now, you know. Well, we and we, you know, since we have two shops now, you know, we have Conway, we have Little Rock. Conway is its own entity, but you know, a lot of the regulars here, Conway, uh, West End Little Rock, they've come to call that Mama's house. Nice. You can always go back to Mama's house just nice. because you got that, you got that feeling, you know. Mama's that's, house is never is never a bad place. Yeah, because you can always go home. You can oh, yeah. always oh, yeah. go home. So, yep. hey, man, well, hey, dude, we appreciate you taking the call yes. and uh, spending a little time with us. I know you're at work and you're hanging out and smoking cigars. That's what we're doing at the uh, Rob Jones local <laughs> lounge shed. Yeah. And uh, so anyway. I'm actually smoking something new tonight. So what, are smoking? what are you smoking? What are you smoking? I'm having the uh, LFD 25th anniversary. Mm, I'm going to think. Which one is Are you talking about the 1994? No, 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 no. This is the new uh, 25th anniversary. It uh, it only comes in one size, a Churchill. It's a uh, Ecuadorian Corojo wrapped around uh, Dominican binder filler. Um, I don't smoke Churchill, but this one is actually pretty good. Just got into the uh, last third, and that spice is uh, making its presence known. Very nice, man. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, and you know, you probably already know that I've been kind of down on LFD <laughs> just because I think that their quality control has gone down. But how has that cigar been holding up? Uh, it's been perfect. I haven't had a relight. It hasn't canoed tunnel. It's been a razor's edge the uh, the whole time. You know, I I have no uh, no complaints on it. Well, you know that's great because I used to be just like if if anybody wanted to ask what the number one cigar was for me as my go to, it was the Cabinet Six yeah. LFD, and mm -hmm. they really saw some problems with the quality control. I mean, for heaven's sake, dude, my wedding ring is the band yeah, of LFD. Is. Yeah. So, you know, I, I really hope that they get all their act together and produce great cigars mm. because when they were making the LFD uh, cabinet six and cabinet five and they were what they should be, mm -hmm. there was not a better cigar on the market mm. for that price point. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I agree. And it's, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're doing pretty damn well right now well that's good man i'm really happy to hear that that'll make me reach out so i haven't seen the 25th year anniversary i'm gonna have to get on uh, the horn and find out where i can get one yeah we actually just uh we actually just put them out on our shelf uh yesterday i believe okay so, hey do you guys ship <laughs> I, I should be some stuff. hey you know what i'll contact you tomorrow before the game sometime and we'll hook that up because i want to order a couple Sounds good, my man. Sounds good. And, uh, you know, I just can't give Bryant all the hard time. I do want to say. <laughs> oh, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> uh, Rock Chalk Jayhawk over oh. your uh, Red Raiders today in basketball. So. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you know. I'm, I'm a Jayhawk. So. I know, but if you remember last year, and so far, that's all we have to go for, because, you know, know, intermediate games don't really count. <laughs> it's when you get to the dance that counts. <laughs> and come on, man, you got to be honest. You thought that for just a moment last year, yeah. you thought Texas Tech was going to win it all. I did. You know, after they took that. So, you know, living in Arkansas, I'm not an Arkansas fan, but I root for them just because, you know, I live here. Um, I, I really did think after y'all beat us, you're going to take it all. And I was rooting for you just because, you know, you took out Arkansas and, you know, 
where Mahomes is from. So yeah. I'll, I'll root for him. And I saw Mahomes was there with everybody else. So. Hey, dude, I'd love seeing Mahomes in the stands for whether it be baseball, college baseball, whatever. Yeah. He is he is just so much fun to check out in the stands. He's always having a good time. At least he wasn't out there handing out $100 bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, all the regulars and everybody up here, they all know how big of a fan I am of, of, the, of the Chiefs and everything. Um, they're probably tired of me. Uh, talking about it so far, but if we do happen to win tomorrow, I've already won. I'm going to be I'm going to be insufferable. For the next <laughs> year. Hey man, I'm looking forward to it because I think they're going to win. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I think I think you, what you need to do, Brian, is give me your number so I can text you periodically during oh, the yeah. game. Just to make you know sure what? you're okay. Send it to I'll, him. I'll send, send it to you. Him. I'll yeah. send you his number so <laughs> that you can him. text him throughout the game because he's not going to like my text. <laughs> Hey, man, thanks for taking the time to talk with us tonight. We appreciate it. And, uh, you know, as always, we wish you the best. And if there's anything that we can ever do for you, yeah. Viking, we're always here for you, brother. No, no, I appreciate it. No, you know, you're you're one of the main reasons how the straight cut got off the ground. You know, I started listening to your show and I, you know, reached out to you just out of the blue, be like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. What did you do? So you were a, you were a big uh, help on getting my show up off the ground. So you know, I really appreciate it. So Hey, you know what's funny is when people listen to our, our show, it inspires a lot of people to do a show. And you know why? Bryant. It's no, because they're like, man, if those guys can do it, anybody can. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I, I've enjoyed it. You know, we just... Uh, we just put out episode 41, I think. Um, cool. So it's, I come I come from a background of broadcasting, so it's something I'm used to. Um, but it's it's nice to do something just like what you're doing. When you when you love the product, it's it's easy to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't consider cigar talk work at all. No. Uh, it takes up a lot of my time, but every single minute, I enjoy it. Yep. Yeah, I've I've enjoyed. It. I love listening to your show, and hopefully everybody enjoys uh, listening to ours. So yeah, that is the uh, the straight cut. You know, comes out Friday, and then listen to ours, and then a couple days later, tune into y'all. So, hey, uh, what what, what, we do here. what time do y'all release on Fridays? Because I usually listen on Saturday evenings. No, no, we do uh, eight a.m. Central Time. Okay, see, mine comes out Sunday night, anytime mm -hmm. between midnight and four. <laughs> <laughs> it really depends so we, on how much we, I've had to be drinking. <laughs> so we we record about four to five to a week in advance. Uh, I edit everything and then put it out there. So it's it's always going to unless something happens, it's always going to be Friday at eight a.m. Um, you know, we're all hey, we're on so Instagram, you, Facebook, all that kind of you're stuff. You're doing all the editing, right? Mm hmm <laughs> After I get done with the show, I'm gonna give you a phone call and I'm gonna make your life really, really good. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, brother. Hey, well, take care. Thanks again for joining us, and we will be talking to you real soon because the Super Bowl is less than twenty four hours away. I'll be texting. Hey, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. Go Chiefs. Forty right. ers <laughs> Take care, Viking. See you, man. See you, bud. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed having Viking come by. Love those guys over there at West End. If you do have the opportunity and you find yourself in Arkansas uh, over at Little Rock, definitely go by the West End Cigar Lounge. Great people over there. Good lounge. And I can't say enough about those guys. And if you get the opportunity, go by and check out the Straight Cut podcast. I'm a fan. That's one of the few cigar shows I listen to. And uh, it's just a, a nice, relaxed atmosphere type conversation. Uh, got some humor. They throw in some sports. And I'm sure you're going to be hearing a lot about whatever happens in the Super Bowl this week, so go by and check them out. Uh, let's get to uh, the McAuliffe Ambassador Program. If you haven't signed up, which I can't imagine that you haven't, you got to go by our website, click on the link that says Become a McAuliffe Ambassador. It's free. You go to their website, you fill out a registration form, they send you your own coin. And don't ask me what my number is. We all know it's higher than Brian's. Anyway, they'll send you your own coin with your number the handwritten certificate, and you can become a member of the Facebook 
McAuliffe Ambassador Community, which is a really cool community. I go over there all the time. Great bunch of people over there. It's not all about the company. It's really focused on the members. So you definitely want to take advantage of this opportunity. Go by the website, click on the ambassador link, go over there and sign up. And uh, anyway, also wanted to mention that we have a partnership with Medify Air Purification, and we have a air purifier in the studio that has just been amazing. Uh, before, you never knew what your air quality was, and now they have it right on the front. There's a, on some models, it's a blue stripe or a red stripe or green stripe, whatever. And then the model that we have, it actually has a number count of what the air quality is. I am super impressed, but you can go by our website. We have an air purification link on there that'll take you over there and you can use our special code. I believe it's Medify Smoker and you'll get a 10% off. Anyway, I can't say enough about that product. It's just blown me away. And when you're at a smoke lounge, especially at your own personal lounge, you want good air quality. That's what makes it enjoyable. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's get to our AJ giveaway. Uh, this week, we're giving away two cigars from AJ Fernandez. We've partnered up with AJ for the giveaway. And uh, let's hit the button here. This week's winner is Levi Graham. Congratulations, Mr. Graham. Hope you enjoy these cigars. I'll get those out to you as soon as I receive an email back from you. So make sure you go by the website, drop us an email, letting us know that you heard you are the winner. Just as everybody probably already knows, I'm going to go over the rules one more time for the giveaways. You got to listen and you got to let us know that you heard you're the winner before the following Sunday of the Monday that the show comes out. So shows drop on Monday, the following Sunday by 1800, 6 p.m. Central Time. You got to send me an email, let us know you heard you're the winner, send us your address, and I'll get that mailed out to you. So congratulations again to Levi Graham. Hey guys, so next week we're going to try to have a special guest. I don't want to name them yet because I'm still working really hard on them making it happen, but it's going to be somebody fun. It's going to be somebody that is all over the place with the cigar community and the industry. So you're not going to want to miss that. And I guess that's going to wrap it up for this week. I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl this weekend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it now. I hope the Kansas City Chiefs win. Bryant's a big 49er fan, as you know, but I'm really pulling for old Mahomes. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend. Have a great week, and we'll be seeing you next time. Until then, keep smoking.